Hi my friend, today Richard Rapport against Fedoseo sacrificed two pieces in one game. Both sacrifices were just for positional advantage, not tactical shots. And that was sick, especially the first sacrifice was very deep. I want to show you that moment in the game and discuss it a little bit with you. Let's go forward. This is a Kings in Indian opening. And Rapport is doing pretty well with white pieces, damaging pawn structure of black and developing all pieces, not all pieces, developing some major pieces, but very, very nice pawn structure for Rapport. And uh, black wants to gain some activity, sacrifice a pawn, and instead brings the rook into the a1. Here we are getting close to the point that we see that brilliancy okay human brilliancy engine doesn't like it but from human point of view is really brilliant let's see and for the self attacks the bishop report develops knight for the self attacks the bishop once more and here a report first grabs the pawn with check for the self moves the king and here you should decide what do you want to do with that bishop the engine says bishop f1 is the best but rapport played king f2 that's sick very sick says that grab my bishop with check i not only i'm not moving the bishop i let you to grab it with check and then rapport goes up and let's see why he sacrificed no, bishop in this way goes up with the king and Fedosev has to defend the knight. Rapport gained a lot of activity for this peace sacrifice. If Fedosev wants to maintain peace advantage, should defend the knight. And the knight is pinned at the moment because two rooks are attacking that knight. And uh, also Rapport should be alert because if he doesn't move the king away, for example, if he plays some stupid move like d5, e5, then this check is killer because it gets rid of the pin and black is just a piece up, white doesn't have any activity or anything in return. So, uh, of course, Rapport have seen this and moved the king away and for the serve attacks the knight, Rapport retreat the knight. And here is why king to h4 because should defend the knight at h5. All of this has been seen when Rapport sacrificed the uh, sacrifice the uh, uh, bishop okay philosoph goes up with the king rapport goes down and notice that here you cannot play something like for example say that okay i will save my the knight finally and activate my rook no this is the end of a day because this is a check where do you go and this is a mate so philosoph uh, couldn't afford that so had to of a rook exchange, Rapport said, I'm fine. And Philosoph said, okay, I'm waiting for you. Takes, takes, and then again, the same scenario. What was the problem? The problem was E4 pawn. So Philosoph gets rid of that E4 pawn to avoid this problem. But Rapport says that I want to meet you anyway. And Philosoph says that, okay, I understand. I go back no, myself. And then Rapport takes the bishop finally. And here we are seeing, okay, material is equal and uh, there is no peace sack, but Rapport loves to sacrifice a piece. Check and pin uh, and go no, for discovery check. Let's go forward to see the next peace sack. But this next one is not as amazing as the first one because a rapport is already in a very good shape at this moment. He has all the activity and grabs all the pawns and has a pass pawn right now and it's in a very good shape. So this piece of sacrifice is just getting a pawn to the last rank. So gives a check, wins that. Uh, pawn and 
Fedor Sev says that okay, I want to win your pawn, but Rapport says okay, go ahead, take my knight. I don't need it. And here is the, uh, close to the last moments of the game because Fedor Sev cannot stop Rapport from queening the pawn. Tries a few moves, but then resigns. You may say that why, for example, Fedor Sev didn't go behind and move before didn't go behind this pawn this is a simple trick because you just go away you cannot grab this pawn because this is a check and winning the rook okay i hope you enjoyed bye